the lights, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at, ballers? Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at, ballers? Pacers at Knicks. Junior Brown back with NBA Shot Clock on this Tuesday, May 14th with another free pick. We're rocking with the Indiana Pacers team total over 107.5. For those of you that have been rocking with the channel, we really appreciate y'all. And you kind of already know where I'm going with this. The Pacers, during the regular season, highest scoring team in the NBA in terms of points per game. Number two behind the Celtics in offensive efficiency. In the playoffs, they're number one in both them categories. Number one scoring team, number one in offensive efficiency. So why am I taking under 107.5? Unless you believe the Knicks are going to hold them under, to under 90 possessions which they were not able to do in games one and two in New York, and they most certainly were not able to do in the games in Indiana. And now Indiana's coming off a situation where their their confidence has got to be at an all-time high after molly whopping the Knicks, after watching the Knicks lose bodies and just start to fall victim to the fatigue that's associated with playing for Tibbs where you're playing like 40-something minutes a game. It's just kind of crazy. So... The best thing about my angle on this game is that it really doesn't involve the Pacers winning the game, because if you're just being realistic, once the Knicks are in Madison Square Garden, you kind of don't really know how that's going to go. No team feeds off their crowd's energy and plays above their weight class the way the Knicks do in MSG. You can't deny that if you're trying to make money out here. So I'm staying away from all that. I'm just banking on the Pacers doing exactly what we've watched them do the entire regular season, the entire playoffs, which is put points on the board. Give me the Pacers team total over 107.5, which takes us to the second game on the card. Wolves at Nuggets. It's a big one. I told you all on Friday when I gave you all the Nuggets plus the points that the Wolves are not as good as they looked in the first two games in the same way as the Nuggets are not as bad as they looked in them first two games. Now, did I know that the Nuggets were going to go win two games in Minnesota? I did not. I would be lying to your face if I told y'all that. But I knew that they weren't going to go out soft. I knew they were going to be able to hang around in game three, but, and instead they blew them out. And they really pretty much blew them out in game two. They were up double digits the entire game. So this game is a situational play for me because I kind of don't know what's going to happen. Minnesota could fight back. They're not dead. But they're in trouble because their second best player doesn't really seem to understand that he's a role player. Yes, Cat is an all-star in theory, and he would put up all-star numbers on a bad team. But this is not a bad team. This is a good team. And on this good team, he's got to be the supporting player to Anthony Edwards. And instead, when I watched those, those two games in Denver, it was like, he was like, all right, now it's my turn. Instead of like, now let me help you. The, which is the relationship that Jokic and Murray have. They're just a more reliable duo, and that's my theory for the series overall. But for this play specifically, it's a very situational play because I'm relying on the emotions of the situation in the moment. Denver fans, no matter how loyal they are, most of them probably believe that they were going to lose this series the way they looked on their home court in games one and two. So for them to be able to buy tickets and actually even go to a game five, you best believe that they're going to be the loudest you probably ever heard them. They're trying to defend their title. They know how much a win in this game really means. I just don't see any way Denver doesn't cover a minus one in the first quarter. So that's my other official. Denver first quarter, minus one. You know what we do around here, y'all. Let's catch another ticket. 